What's up everybody? Welcome to another episode of What's in the Bag. This one was ordered back in October 22nd and came all the way over from the wonderful land of China. Two months in the waiting. Let's see what we got in the bag. Is the new Prime 1S goggles from Top Sky. Let's get our plastic off here. So these are supposed to be a set of diversity goggles that have two 640 by 480 LCD panels, one for each eye. So in the box, we have an extra set of tape for the foam. We have an extra set of foam. We have a microfiber cleaning cloth, a nice USB cable, and then what I've been waiting for, the goggles themselves along with an instruction manual. So these have the normal Top Sky branded look to them where it has this little visor part here in the beginning. Let's go ahead and get this plastic off of here. We have an antenna connection on this side, antenna connection on this side. On the top, we have all of our buttons laid out. This side here is going to control the band and the searching. This side's going to control the DVR. And uh, on the bottom here, there is IPD adjustments, which move our lenses back and forth. And we also have a diopter adjustment, which I've heard does not do very well. So we're going to have to see how they work with my head. I am a glass wearer, so we'll see how that all works. And then there is uh, a separate uh, battery bay here. So I won't go too much into detail on how the buttons work. I think uh, there's plenty of videos already out there showing all of that. What I'm going to more gear towards is uh, how does this compare with my other box goggles that I've been using since 2016. How does the diversity work? I've heard that the diversity doesn't work on it, that the left side is not working and only the right side's working. So I'm gonna go ahead and test that out. And uh, tomorrow morning, I'm gonna take these goggles, get out in the field and give them a test flight and see how they turn out. All right, so before we head out to fly, let's go ahead and make sure that they fit okay and that I can see through them. And uh, let's go ahead and also test out the diversity, make sure that that's working as well. So what I'm comparing them to is my original goggles that I purchased back in 2016. These are the Quantum V2s. They're obviously very massive. Uh, they do work. Uh, they have a, a great uh, monitor in them. Uh, no problems. I'm pretty sure that this is a 640 by 480 monitor. And if we compare these over to the Top Skies, we can see that the Prime 1S is definitely about a third of the size. So that's kind of what uh, you know took me towards the direction of actually purchasing these on top of the fact that of course it's supposed to have the uh, diversity so I can use a patch antenna along with a Pocota. Uh, these antennas that you see here, they do not come with the Prime 1S. These are the Realac um, Mini Patch and the Realac Pocota 2. I'll leave leaks, uh, links in the description for those if you're interested in them. Um, so let's go ahead and see how they fit on my face. All right. So first of all, uh, they are very comfortable. Um, they're definitely more comfortable than my big ones. Uh, they don't uh, weigh down my face as much as the other ones do. Um, you can see from the side here as well. There's very, very minimal light leakage, a little bit from the bottom here, but mostly it's uh, completely pi uh, pitch black inside there, so that's great news. Um, I could definitely wear these for an extended period of time. I may need to adjust the straps. They're a little bit tight for my head. I do have a massive head. Um, 
And so that's the good news that they do actually fit good. So the next thing I want to do here is let's go ahead and uh, get them turned on. I'm going to go ahead and get a quad and I'm going to power up a quad and let's give the diversity a quick test as well. Okay, so what I've done is I put my quad upstairs, one floor above me. Um, the VTX is on 25 milliwatts and I have it facing our Christmas tree currently. So I'm going to go ahead and record this uh, so that I can share with you what we got going on. So again, we have a patch on this side. We have a go down on this side. So let's go ahead and uh, start off with first by removing the pagoda. So pagoda is off and uh, picture is really poor. Let's go ahead and face the patch towards the quad and cover up the other side with my hand and picture is pretty poor. Let's go ahead and remove the patch picture is actually exactly the same we'll put the pagoda on this side and the picture is really really poor now we'll take the pagoda put the pagoda on the right side and the picture is perfect. So basically what I'm seeing here is that the left-hand side is really not doing anything. So here's no antennas. Here's me covering the right-hand side. And here's a pagoda. Okay, so pagoda on the left, and the picture is still poor. So this left side, honestly is not doing a darn thing it's only the right side that's working so i emailed top sky i asked them about this issue and they told me that it's a software issue and that they're going to fix it on the second revision so in short anybody who bought this first revision is going to be sol with a set of goggles that does not have diversity that's supposed to have diversity. Top Sky, you guys need to release a software update for us that have this version one so that we can actually use the diversity that we paid for. It's not fair to all the people that waited and pre-ordered even these things, waited two months for this sucker, and now I get something that's half working. Half working, how is that fair to me and the rest of the people that bought this? I'm gonna go ahead and get off my soapbox now and let's go ahead and get to the maiden flight of the Prime 1S goggles. I have the VTX on the XL5 currently set to 25 milliwatts, so we can go ahead and see what it does on its lowest setting. Again, I got the Realac uh, patch and the Bogota on it. Uh, the Bogota's on the right-hand side, the patch on the left. So I'm expecting all the reception to come from that Bogota. So here we go. So the first thing I'm noticing is that the brightness on the default level is very, very low. So you are definitely gonna to need to turn the brightness up in order to see a little bit better. Um, the reception so far is looking really, really nice. Um, this area, I get a lot of breakup when I fly here, especially at 25 milliwatts. Uh, so the breakup you're seeing is definitely uh, acceptable compared to my other goggles. The uh, reception seems to be good. It doesn't matter what orientation the quad is in, whether I'm upside down, left, right, uh, it's keeping the same exact uh, quality of picture. So that's fantastic. Now, in regard to the picture, um, the picture quality is definitely not very acceptable. Uh, looking at the trees on the right-hand side, especially the scraggle, uh, all of those uh, bare branches, it's very, very difficult to, uh, to see those branches through the goggles themselves. You can see the pixels really well also, um, a lot better, um, I'll just say a lot worse than I can see them in my box goggles. So the box goggles right now, as far as picture quality goes, are definitely hands down better. Again, my, my box goggles should be 640 by 480. These things here are supposed to be 640 by 480. 
I definitely cannot say that these things are 640 by 480 as the picture quality is nowhere near as nice as my other older 2016 screen. The Prime 1S is also able to record sound. My VTX does have an onboard microphone, um, so I'm going to go ahead and let you listen to that audio for just a moment here. Lastly, I wanted to show you what I see inside the goggles. Here's the Prime 1S. Take a look at the pixel size on the screen. They are absolutely massive. Now compare that over to my box goggles. You can barely see the pixels at all. Both of these screens are supposed to be 640 by 480 and there's just absolutely no way that's true. Well, one last thing, the battery. I was able to fly about six packs of batteries so you know what is that about four times so about 24 about a half maybe a half an hour of, of battery life that you'll get out of this that's using the DVR that's having the brightness uh, up pretty high um, so it, it, they don't last very long at all until you have to charge them and they do take a couple of hours to charge now of course I could figure out a different way of getting a different battery in there so that's not the end of the world either all right so let's wrap up my thoughts on the Prime 1s I really like the size of them. I think they're a really, really, really convenient size compared to a box goggles. Obviously, they're not as small as a set of Fat Sharks, but then again, we're not talking about Fat Shark money here. We're, we're talking about you know 80 to $100 for a set of these. You don't get antennas with it. You have to buy your own. It's not made very clear that you have to buy your own antennas. So that's definitely a downside. I think uh, they shouldn't show on the box the two types of antennas that I had to buy separately when they're not included in the box. So that's a misleading advertisement. Also, the fact that we say that we have diversity on these goggles and the diversity doesn't work and their response is, oh, we'll fix it on the next one. The last issue is the screens. I mean, yeah, I guess you can fly with them. It's very difficult. You know, comparing them to my box goggles, which are also 640 by 480, I can see a lot more branches, I can see a lot more details with the same exact camera. So I really do not believe that these are 640 by 480. You know, again, I understand they're not, you know, an expensive set of goggles. But when you advertise and you tell the specifications to your customers and say, this thing has diversity, it has you know, 640 by 480, two screens that you confirmed to me via email, and then I get something that is half of what you actually advertised, how is that fair to all of your customers? If you want something that will get you in there, they do work, I can fly with them. You know, if, if they would have just advertised them as 320 by 240 with a single antenna instead of diversity, then I could give them my, my two thumbs up, but, at this point, I just, I really cannot recommend these goggles to you. That's everything I have on the Prime 1S. Again, for the money, if they would have just been honest about what they have inside of this and not rushed it out to the market with stuff that doesn't work, um, sure, they could be great. Maybe the version two, they'll fix all of that. Um, but for all of us version one guys that spent our hard earned money on this thing, just not right, Top Sky. All right, guys, thanks so much for watching. If there's any questions you have on the goggles, don't hesitate to leave a comment down below. I'd be more than glad to answer those for you. Uh, otherwise, we'll see you in the next one.